Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, January 31st, 2012. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, area residents could be seeing a slight increase in water rates. The city of Tallahoma receives a Safe Routes to School grant, and the Manchester manufacturer is planning a major expansion. And we'll have a clip of the Duck River Bridge near Old Stone Fort coming down yesterday by demolition, demolition crews. All these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Tallahoma Surgery Center is Tallahoma's newest and most complete surgical health care facility. The center combines state-of-the-art surgical care with efficient, affordable, and community-based outpatient service. The staff is committed to providing the highest quality care in a warm, personalized setting. The goal is to deliver excellent care and make your visit a pleasant experience. Telehoma Surgery Center, the area's premier surgery center dedicated to outpatient surgery. Telahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates, and mugs. We're a Telahoma treasure. We are Telahoma Drug. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name's Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver Smokehouse. Welcome back. Wholesale rates for water are used by thousands of customers in Coffee County are going up slightly for the first time in three years. Randall Breaker, who is the general manager of the Duck River Utility Commission, says wholesale rates are going up about 4% after commissioners approved the new plan earlier this month. He says the average household could see their water charge go up by around 25 cents a month. Breaker says separate utility systems served by Duck River could make other adjustments. He says the rate increased was uh, increased was needed to offset inflation and other increased expenses. Duck River supplies treated water to Tullahoma, Manchester, and the Hillsville Rural Utility District. Tullahoma, in turn, sells products to the Cascade Utility District that includes war trace and parts of rural Bedford County. The city of Tullahoma is receiving grants totaling $223,360 for improvements near a local elementary school. The Safe Routes to School program is a statewide initiative designed to make bicycling and walking to school a safer, more appealing, and healthier alternative for students in, in kindergarten through eighth grade. Tullahoma will utilize the Safe Routes to School funds to construct sidewalks and crosswalks and install a new signage near East Lincoln Elementary School. A school activity plan will also be developed to teach safety education and healthier lifestyle habits. The grant is made possible through a federally funded program administered by the Tennessee Department of Transportation. This year, TDOT provided more than $1.6 million in Safe Routes to School funds to 10 municipalities for projects across the state. Say Senator Eric Stewart, a Democrat from Belvedere, and State Representative Judd Matheny, Republican from Tullahoma, represent Coffee County in the Tennessee General Assembly. Tennessee economists say they expect the area's jobless rate to continue dropping this year, but they say recovery will likely be slow and subject to snags. Unemployment rates across southern Middle Tennessee fell in December in some counties to the lowest in three years. Coffee County's rate dropped to 8.7 percent in December, down by four-tenths of a point in November, or from November. 
University of Tennessee economist Dr. Matt Murray says he believes job creation will be strong in the volunteer state this year and in 2013. Murray says the unemployment rate will likely remain high as more workers come back into the market, but he says the housing market is stabilizing the transportation equipment market, which is critical for Tennessee to continue to grow. Expansion at a Manchester industrial plant means new jobs for the area. Indiana-based Hillenbrand Inc. says it will invest some $7 billion at its Batesville casket operation. The company says it will hire around 35 new workers as the plant expands over the next three years. The expansion plan was announced by Governor Bill Haslam recently. Governor Haslam says he will continue to focus on adding new jobs at existing Tennessee manufacturing operations. He says he wants to make Tennessee number one in the South for high quality jobs. Batesville first opened its Manchester plant in 1971. The company currently has around 350 employees. A Bedford County man who pleaded guilty in a rare federal horse soaring case has been sentenced to write a newspaper article about the illegal practice that involves placing bolts on the animal's hooves or using painful irritants to accentuate their big lick gait for walking horse shows. U.S. District Judge Harry S. Mattis sentenced Paul Blackburn of Shelbyville to one year of probation and ordered him to write the horse soaring article to be published in his community newspaper. Blackburn pleaded guilty along with three other defendants who sentences in Chattanooga have been reset to February 27th. Records show Blackburn was part of a horse boarding and training operation that involved the cruelty violations. Blackburn declined comment afterwards saying that he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. Construction has started on the brand new Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac in Tullahoma. And our inventory is in the way. So to make room for the construction equipment, Stan said to sell 100 vehicles. So our mess means you save on all new and pre-owned vehicles at Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Discounts up to $11,000 off MSRP or 0% financing. Stop by now. We've got unbelievable deals and we need the space. It's the under construction sale at Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac in Tullahoma. I'm NASCAR driver Mark Martin. You know what's worse than waiting in traffic? Waiting in the emergency room when you're in pain. So choose the ER that's extra fast, ER Extra. ER Extra is specifically engineered to get you the help you need and back in action with race car speed. ER Extra, extra fast, extra easy, extra great. ER Extra, exclusively at Harton Regional Medical Center. Everybody's in a business. A realtor helps build your family with a home to grow in. A doctor keeps you healthy and can fix a broken heart. An accountant keeps you on track for your future dreams. As a master IJO jeweler, Woodard's Diamond Showroom is a little of all of these because we're in the love business. We're there for your family's special times with regular happiness checkups and symbols of love. That's our business at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. Welcome back. Tullahoma Parks and Recreation is trying to get the community moving. They recently hosted an all-league expo and invited area sports leagues and vendors to present their sport or adventure to the community. Merle Meadows spoke to some of the participants. Let's watch. Welcome to Tullahoma Parks and Recreation, Recreation Expo, All League Sign Up. Uh, we're here today, we have a lot of different vendors here, and we're going to talk to just a few of them. First one we're going to talk to is Sandy from Taylor's Art Trees. Tan Sandy, tell us about what you've got going on here and what you offer. Hi, uh, my name is Sandy Taylor, and me and my husband own Taylor's Art Tree and Outdoors, and it's located on East Lauderdale Street here in Tullahoma. We are offering some uh, classes for children and adults, and they are beginner's classes, and we're going to be starting our 3D tournaments at Tim's Ford State Park on March 24th, and it'll be a lot of fun, great food, and a lot of fun for families. 
and today I am I brought a display of just different kinds of bows that we um, have in our store we sell Bowtech and Matthews so come out and see us sometime this is Maureen Burke and Maureen is with the Tullahoma Tennis Association and Maureen tell us a little bit about the Tullahoma Tennis Association okay. um, well we're a network of uh, about 60 to 80 folks in all ages um, from you know the younger middle school ages, high school, and adults. Um, we're just kind of a network of, uh, of tennis players, and we have had a few events um, in the past. Um, we try to have one big play day once a year. Last year, we were real privileged to have um, Melissa Schaub, uh, the MTSU women's tennis coach, come down and um, with a couple of her players. They did some exhibition matches, and then they mingled with us a little bit, and they did some free clinics. So that was really fun. And then we had round robin play and again once again it was all ages and, uh, and just a lot of fun and how would they go ahead and contact you if they wanted to join or get more information okay. all right well the the, uh, the membership's real easy we don't have a fee right now um, the, the best thing to do is to get on the Tullahoma Tennis Association Facebook page and there is a contact email there also the postings of our activities will will be on the Facebook page Excellent. And also, once again, I keep a listing of as many leagues and organizations as we can. So if you ever scratch your head and can't figure out who it was, always call me at 461-1080 and I'd be happy to give you that information. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you. This is Jonathan Floyd with the Coffee County Barbarians Club. Yes, ma'am. All right. And Jonathan, tell us a, bit, a little bit about your club. Well, our club represents Telema and Manchester. Um, we are a high school club. We have been a club now for five years. Um, if you don't have any rugby teams or rugby clubs in your area, us include Shelbyville, Moore Trace, uh, Franklin County, uh, you can come join our club. Our season is, I say, from December to May, and then if we ma if you make it to like a All Star team or something, it'll probably be over the summer. Is this a co-ed sport or is this for primarily for you said boy ma males? It's not co-ed, we, we, but we do have a boys team and a girls team. Okay, and they can get the girls if they wanted to play, they can go through you as well to find out where to go for the girls teams? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And that uh, is, the, which website is it? It's uh, highschoolrugby.com, and to get your forms to uh, turn to our coach, it will, you'll have to go to uh, middletennesseerugby.com. Thank you. Merrill also spoke with Julie Cottrell, an independent beach body trainer who is offering a sample of the famous beach body workouts each week at D.W. Wilson Community Center. This is Julie Cottrell, and Julie is going to talk to you about beach body, and also she's one of our beach body fit club instructors, which the class meets right now through February on Thursday nights from 5:30 to 6:30 right here at D.W. Wilson. But Julie's also a beach body club. Tell us about that, Julie. Hi, my name is Julie Cottrell, and I am a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes educator. And um, I am also an independent beach body uh, coach, and so I have a few different things that can you can do through that. We have a fit club here at the community center on Thursday nights, and you can come try out different beach body workouts. Um, also, we have a nutrition supplement called Shakeology, and this is a very um, it, it's a very nutritious thing that you can use as a meal replacement for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I have samples here today, so I was hoping people will come out and try it. Um, what else can I say? Oh, I, and I have a, a website. Um, I started my own nutrition company, and so I have a website that you can go to. You can get free information there. It's at www.rd4u.net because I'm a registered dietitian, so the RD stands for RD for you, registered dietitian. Yeah, and Julie, uh, the, actually the Shakeology drink is really good. She's given me a few samples here and there, and it really fills you up. Um, this is something that anybody can do pretty much, even if you're on on a diabetes type of diet absolutely it has a low glycemic index it only has 17 grams of carbohydrate per shake and it also has 18 grams of protein the protein is whey protein which is really good for you there's no soy in it there's no stimulants in it but it does have a lot of good um, phytonutrients that have been added to it so it's a, it's a really awesome shake and as a dietitian I wouldn't support anything that I didn't really feel like I could stand behind both me and my husband drink one per day and it's it's making me feel extremely healthy. 
And Julie, I think your husband's quite qualified to, to speak for, for that. Uh, tell us who he is and where he works. Okay. Well, my husband is uh, Ben Cottrell, and he is family. He's a family practice doctor, but he works in, at Harton ER. And um, he actually he's been doing P90X and Insanity workouts and drinking Shakeology once per day. And in the past several months, he's already dropped 25 pounds. So I'm extremely proud of him. He's uh, definitely using the products and having success with it. Excellent. So that's Julie. And if you want to hear about Julie or talk to Julie some more, you can always come and take the Beachbody Fit Club class Thursdays at 530 to 630 through the month of February. And Julie also sometimes will do some uh, lunch and learn education for me, and she, she provides a lot of information. We're going to have a celiac talk coming up here soon. We just have to set the date. Yes. Um, it's very informative, and I... Through her, her little lunch and learn that she did the last time, I found out that I have celiac disease after I got tested. So I kind of owe my life to Julie at this oh, point, or at least the quality of my life. So um, lots of things here to do in Tallahoma to get fit, to get healthy, and this is just one more opportunity. And we'll be right back in a moment. I'm Lori Thompson. And I'm Mike Thompson, and we own Thompson Ford in Tallahoma, Tennessee. Lori and I bought the dealership back. It's on Highway 55. Same dealership that we had for 10 years. Look forward to serving you for another 10. Thank you to the community. Thank you for allowing us to be here for the last 15 years. Thank you for having us raise our family here. Thank you for all your support. It's been a great place. It's a great place to live. Look forward to living here. Put me in the ground here. I'd be proud to do it. God bless America, and God bless Tennessee. Whether it's a home loan, a business loan, a personal loan, a loan for any good reason, Citizens Tri-County Bank is here to help you with the loans you need. With caring, friendly, lending pros at convenient offices across Tullahoma, we love our community and we take pride in helping people get the loans they need. Citizens Tri-County Bank, focused on making loans for the individuals and businesses of our community. Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of old Mexico. Welcome back. Tallahoma Mayor Lane Curley stopped by our studio yesterday to give us a summary of last week's Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. Let's watch. At the City Council meeting last Monday night, one of the things that uh, we did first was to recognize Everett Hatfield, a re recently retired fireman for the City Government of Tallahoma, for his 39 years of dedicated service. We presented him with a plaque and everyone wished him well on his retirement. Uh, I, I appreciate Mr. Hatfield and his 39 years of, of service to our community and, and uh, as, as a fireman. We all should appreciate uh, our, our public service employees. Um, what we also did, we had three appointments on Monday night. First, we reappointed Steve Worsham to the Telema Airport Authority. Steve was eligible for reappointment and he asked to be considered. So we were pleased to appoint, reappoint Mr. Worsham uh, on, for that position on the Airport Authority. We also had, uh, due to the resignation of Dr. Joe Kanan on the Telema Area Economic Development Corporation. We, um, we had previously interviewed several people for that position and so we appointed uh, Dr. Danny Crabtree to fill Dr. Kanan's unexpired term which will go about six months. And um, also on uh, Monday evening we had a, uh, an appointment to the Tri-County Railroad Authority. And so we reappointed uh, Lee Yoder to that position. So we appreciate uh, and commend all three individuals for their willingness to continue to serve uh, Tullahoma in that way. We also uh, had, uh, we revised our beer policy and in the future, uh, companies that are, are caught uh, selling beer to an underage minor currently or to a minor currently receive a five-year probation and so we modified that to reduce it to one year uh, probation if they will agree to take a, um, a beer sale training class so um, 
that that goes into effect went into effect on, on Monday night. So that's just a wrap up of what happened at the city council meeting Monday night. Thank you. Kimberly Lush, the charter business rep in the area, was named Chamber Ambassador of the Year at the recent Chamber Banquet. Let's watch as Kim receives her award. The next award we would like to move on to is the Ambassador of the Year Award. The members of the Chamber's Ambassador Program are official representatives of the TACC, and they have a very special mission as our ambassadors. Our Ambassador of the Year recipient is also a very special individual. The ambassadors are representatives of all of our local businesses who are chamber members and who have selected individuals to represent their company as an ambassador on the programs that we do, not only meeting and greeting people monthly at the coffees, but participating in special projects along with visiting with brand new businesses that come into the community. They are the official hood ornament of the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce. The Ambassador of the Year Award, I will ask Kimberly Lush of Charter Communications to come forward and accept the Ambassador of the Year Award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Manchester and especially the Morton's Lake community were watching for a bridge to come down yesterday. The Old Stone Ford Bridge over Highway 41 in the Duck River in Manchester, Tennessee came down quickly as crews set 12 charges to blow the old bridge up, making way for a new one. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Tulum Parks and Recreation Director Kurt Glick to talk about the recent national recognition he has gained. Deb Rise from Pearls and Pinstripes will bring by some great dresses, and it's time for Trinity Daycare's Diamond Studied Evening, and so Kitty Shokul will stop by to fill everyone in on how you can participate. All that and more on this week's Living. We'll be right back in just a moment with more News Leader on 6. Here at Russell Barnett Kid, we do not have any dancing hamsters, nor do we have any sock monkeys, but we do have the guaranteed lowest price on all new Kias. Come by and check out this all-new 2010 Sporty Kia Soul for $17,995. Or check out this new redesigned 2011 Kia Sportage. No sock monkeys, no dancing hamsters, just guaranteed low prices here at Russell Barnett Kia. My question is, why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Visiting Volunteer State wrote a 30-point, 14-rebound performance by sophomore Hunter Harris to a come-from-behind 69-62 win over the Motlow Bucks Saturday afternoon at Copper Weld Arena. The defeat, the defeat was the fourth consecutive loss for the Bucks. The Pioneers and Motlow battled evenly in the first half with multiple ties and lead changing before the Bucks went into intermission leading by, a, by two, 30 to 28. Motlow extended its lead to 40 to 33 with 14 minutes remaining before Harris took over, scoring 19 points in the second half, including 11, 11, 11 of 11 th free throws. A, thir a 13 to four run by the visitors turned the 40 33 Motlow lead into a 46-44 volunteer state 
State lead with 9.30 left to play. The Bucks would never get closer than three points the rest of the game. Derek Triplett led the Bucks with 13 points, including three three three-pointers. Andrew Schofield added 11 points and barely missed a double-double with nine rebounds while also collecting four steals. Ricky Tisdale ditched, dished out a team-high four assists. Motlow was on, hit only 13 of 22 free throws and committed 16 turnovers. The Bucks had one of their worst shooting days of the season, connecting on only 38% of their shots from the field, including a 3 for 20 from three-point range. The Bucks, who are 10 and 7 and 4 and 6 in district play, will attempt to get back on the winning track by when they travel to Chattanooga State this Friday and Cleveland State on Saturday. The next home game is Friday, February the 10th, when Walter State visits for an 8 p.m tip-off at Copperweld Arena. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. Tommy Anderton and Martha Jane Barton from Traders Bank to share why our Channel 6 viewers should bank with us in 2012. Martha Jane, I've known you to be employed at Traders Bank practically all my life. What is so special about Traders that's allowed you to enjoy 52 years employment? Tommy, there are several things that make Traders the best. At Traders, it's like family as an employee and for our customers. Each customer receives exceptional personal service. At Traders, we're flexible and timely with our responses. At Traders, we listen and accommodate. Martha Jane, thank you for that testimonial. Our New Year's resolution is to continue treating customers like family. It's truly why so many people never bank anywhere else. Traders Bank, member FDIC. Equal housing lender. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor's stat. This facility was built literally on the international dateline to bring charter customers tomorrow's technology first. Like charter internet, which was just made faster again. With speeds up to 100 megs, you can download a movie in two minutes. The number one internet service provider in the nation. Click. Fogelman, good luck with the presentation tomorrow. Already nailed it. Get Charter Internet Express for only $19.99 a month. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 2002 at 74 degrees. The record low was in 1966 at minus 4 degrees. The average high on this day is 49, and the average low is 29. For tonight, look for partly cloudy weather in your forecast with a low of around 51 Thunder shower, uh, the thunder shower is moving in for Wednesday with a high of 62 and a low of 50 and partly cloudy weather expected for Thursday with a high of 61 and a low of 45. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.